ladies and gentlemen. Like in the state of New Jersey, they're trying to point to the fact that there are unmapped fault lines that have been overlooked for a long time. So they said compared to the West Coast, earthquakes in the Northeast can be felt at a great distance. Now, we're finding out it was most of the Northeast going all the way down to Maryland, the quake was felt. So, you know, my question is, why are there any unmarked fault lines? And how many are there in this country that we just don't know about? So the fault that ruptured beneath New Jersey on Friday morning was likely an ancient sleeping seam in the earth, awakened by geological forces in the region where earthquakes are rare and seismic risk are not fully understood. The magnitude 4.8 earthquake was the strongest in New Jersey in over 200 years. The United States, they said the survey said in a news conference that more earthquakes are possible. Now, there was an aftershock that ranged at 4.0. Okay, so we're still getting the aftershocks. So anyway, they're saying that with statistical models estimating a 3% chance of an earthquake of a magnitude 5 or higher in the coming weeks. Wow. So the 4.0 magnitude aftershock struck New Jersey on Friday evening. Yes, and I felt that. I felt it. The USGS website reported at least 11 aftershocks. Yeah, I think I felt about four of them. I did not feel all 11 because I think some of them came overnight and I might not have been awake. So 11, at least 11 aftershocks in the area thus far. Statistical models based on past earthquakes suggested that it could be up to 27 aftershocks of magnitude 2 or greater over the next week. As the shaking calmed on Friday, scientists began working to pinpoint exactly where the rupture occurred. So you can see that on the map in front of you. They said that is where it is. That's where an old fault line in New Jersey that I guess they deemed it as inactive. Well, I guess it must not be inactive anymore. So, ladies and gentlemen, they said this region has many older faults that may be reactivated at any time. At this time, the fault that caused the earthquake isn't yet known. So it's an unmapped fault line. Unmapped. Scientists suspect that the earthquake likely originated in the area of uh, Ramapo Fault uh, Zone. And they said this is in the Newark Basin. The fault system contains a branching network of faults. Some are mapped, but others are probably unknown. So it's possible that the fault where the Friday quake occurred is unmapped. It's likely occurred in an unnamed fault, but we really don't know. It's hard to figure out in a place where there's such a jumble Um yeah, because I would, you know, I, I know they're just showing you that. I personally think it's more than what you're seeing on the map. And like they're saying, they just don't know where they are. And I bet there are probably more in the Northeast. Mm -hmm. So scientists said the fault zone is old and complex. Determining 
precisely what happened will help researchers understand what to expect from the zone in the future and get a better handle on seismic risk in the Northeast. Unlike the West Coast, tectonic plates it meets a boundary. Yes, yeah, I mean, y'all know where yours are. You know, that's the thing. If you look at a map of the West Coast and you just put in their fault lines, it will show you where they are. They are definitely better at mapping it than, <laughs> than the, the Northeast is apparently. So anyway, they said the history of earthquakes is definitely there. But I don't think they really know how many occurred in the past in the Northeast, you know, like beyond a few hundred years. I don't think they know. All right. So they said the faults have persisted from tectonic process that are no longer in action, leaving scattered cracks and weaknesses. Okay, stress accumulates slowly on the network of faults and sometimes cause a slip, producing an earthquake. The stress keep growing at a very slow rate. It's like an old house creaking and groaning. Compared to the West Coast earthquakes on the Northeast can be felt at a great distance and can cause more pronounced shaking relative to the magnitude because rocks in the region are often older and harder and more dense. Okay, so now they said Friday quake was felt widely from Washington DC to Boston. It was also quite shallow According to the USGS, it said it's likely ruptured less than three miles beneath the earth. The shallow or more closer to it, the more we feel as humans. However, the strength of earthquakes in the region is limited by the length of the faults. So it, it just tells me it's a lot they don't know in the Northeast. They don't know where the fault lines are. The ancient ones could be active again. They don't know enough. And that's what I'm getting from the story. They really don't know. And I mean, how does this help us? And your, your scientists are walking around here saying they don't really know anything because that's exactly what they're saying in this article. Okay. So, they said, we're trying to get people together. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. However, they said the dense local network of equipment is most beneficial for monitoring smaller quakes and conducting detailed science. But it isn't a requirement to understand larger quakes like the one that we had on Friday. Anything in the range of a magnitude four, we can determine in a global set of stations for the size of the quake relevant to the society and people's daily lives. We can do a fine job without the density. So, you know, they just go on to saying they can't control the Earth's energy. Um, and they're just saying they're going to have to do better in building and enforcing building codes to do disaster preps so we can respond to the next one that hits. So it tells me they don't really know what to do, y'all. We're just going to have to do the best that we can to keep ourselves safe, you know. Now, I know yesterday when I was watching the news, they had cordon off a street. I don't know if it was more than one in Newark because after the earthquake, it was cracks in the foundations of, uh, you know, some of the homes on, uh, you know, it was, I just saw one street cordoned off. It could have been more. 
And it just goes to show you, you know, those folks might have been closer to the fault line. That's why it happened. But please tell me what you think about this video. It, uh, it doesn't help that the scientists are saying they really don't know much when it comes down to earthquakes in this region, especially in ancient times, you know, where they could find the fault lines and determine, okay, here's the region. This just looks like one they know of that's in the northern part of the state. So I don't know, y'all. So much for science, right? Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.